Let's cover my top three exchanges and brokerages for someone newer to crypto. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I like to cover different ways to make money on your phone, creating passive income sources, making good sound investments, and some helpful tips here and there. If you like this type of content, then hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification so you get notified when I make videos in the future. I do have a spreadsheet in the description below of all the exchanges, brokerages I use or have used, the fees, if any, what I think of them, as well as the referral link, if there is one. That will get you between $10 and $30 of free Bitcoin just for signing up and following a few easy steps. And check out my beginner's guide to crypto, where I have some videos you should watch if you're getting to know the space, as well as the best YouTubers in the space to follow that have been through multiple cycles. And one last thing before getting into these exchanges. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. So do your own research before opening any of these brokerages or exchanges. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's check out my top pick. If you follow my channel for any length of time, you probably already know what this is. And it is Voyager Brokerage. With over 50 digital assets to trade and 20 plus, which you can earn interest on anywhere between 1% and 9.5%, that exceeds what most brokerages and exchanges offer. They also do partner with Celsius Network to help pay out those yields on the digital assets that they do pay interest on. Voyager goes through a smart broker router, which means when you go to buy any of these digital assets, they are going through 12 plus exchanges in order to find you the best price at the time of your buy. So when the price of Bitcoin shoots up and Coinbase goes down, which it tends to do here and there, don't worry, they have many other sources to go to to fill that order for you and no minimum balance to open an account. It has no trading fees to buy and sell crypto on Voyager. Now, if you do transfer any of your cryptocurrency off Voyager, like say to Celsius to get a higher yield, you will be charged a transfer fee. That's pretty much the same across the board. The fees will vary a little between platforms. Another thing great about Voyager, you can set limit orders to buy or sell. So you don't have to be watching your phone every minute of every day. It is a very easy platform for beginners to use. If you're not quite ready to buy some of these more volatile cryptocurrencies, you can always stick your money in USD coin, which is yielding you 8.5% APY on your money right now. That is way better than you're getting in traditional finance with 0.01% or maybe 0.5% if you're lucky. Also, Voyager has the best refer a friend program. If you use my referral link, which is in the description below, or anyone else's for that matter, and you buy $100 or more of any digital currency, you get $25 in free Bitcoin. That's a 25% return right there. Now, this is changing with a new VLP, which is the Voyager Loyalty Program. If you don't know what that is, then check out my recent video on Voyager, which will be linked in the description below, covering this whole program and what it's going to do for Voyager brokerage and the VGX token which is their utility token. And well, another perk of Voyager, speaking of VGX, it's the only place in the United States on a centralized platform that you can buy VGX token. Now you can buy it on Uniswap or other decentralized exchanges, but you will be paying extremely high gas fees. And in order to take advantage of many of these perks in the new Voyager loyalty program, you will need to hold VGX in order to get some of these great perks. And right now, Voyager Brokerage is a US only brokerage, excluding New York, soon to come to Europe and Canada, so look out for that. They do only have a mobile app currently, desktop version coming in the future. I know this was pretty quick, but with all things I just covered, shows you why Voyager is my number one choice in this space. Let's go on to my second choice, the Gemini Crypto Exchange. Gemini was founded by the Winklevoss twins, who are very well known in the cryptocurrency space. Now there are fees associated with Gemini, a little bit cheaper than Coinbase, but still you are paying fees. You can switch over to Gemini Active Trader to lower those fees dramatically. Plus in Active Trader, you can set limit orders to buy or sell. Gemini also has an interest earned program, earning you 1.54% all the way up to 7.4% on 26 digital assets. What is nice about Gemini is they do have a desktop and mobile version. And their refer a friend program isn't quite as great, but when you buy $100 of any digital asset using a referral link, you get $10 of free Bitcoin. Any way to get free Bitcoin is better than nothing, right? Now my third choice for beginners 
is Abra Crypto Exchange. Now, you do not hear this talked about much as there is no referral link, so most people do not talk about it. It is a very easy to use mobile crypto exchange. You can trade over 100 digital assets on Abra. Depending on your location, there may be less available to trade to you. And they do have an interest earn program, just like these other two, earning you between four and 10% on nine digital assets. On Abra, you are getting 10% daily compound interest on your USD coin. So that tops our previous two we just talked about. If you did want to go the route of just holding your dollar in USDC and gaining way higher yield than you will in the banks. There are no fees for your ACH deposit into Abra, as well as no fees for buying or selling crypto or transferring from crypto to crypto inside of the Abra exchange. Now, as always, you will have a transfer fee if you move your cryptocurrency off of Abra. So those are my top three crypto brokers or exchanges for beginners. Now, out of the three, Voyager is still pretty new. Abra and Gemini have been through multiple cycles already. Now I did just open an FTX US account to buy Solana last week, ticker SOL. As many brokers and exchanges I have, that was not covered to trade on any of them. But for now, I do want to play around with the platform a little more and get to know what it has to offer before recommending this to anyone. So this is not in my exchange and broker spreadsheet yet, but it will be soon. As you dig deeper and deeper into buying altcoins, you will notice that you need to have multiple different exchanges and brokers as not every exchange supports the coin or token you want to buy. And for the little guy trading with less than a couple thousand dollars per transaction, you're not going to be wanting to use a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, OneInch, or SushiSwap, among many others, as the gas fees are extremely high right now and making a $200 trade will likely eat up all your profits unless you're getting huge gains out of them. So currently, I've only been trading on centralized exchanges and brokerages lately. I would say over the last month, month and a half, I've probably only used Uniswap two times. Now there are many other centralized exchanges like crypto.com, that's where I go to buy Polygon, ticker Matic, and move it over to Celsius Network to get myself 13.99% APY, along with many other exchanges. Now, I do want to say, as much as I talk down about Coinbase, they do have a few good things to offer. You can trade 42 digital assets on Coinbase. What sucks is the fees are extremely high. They do have issues with the platform going down when Bitcoin spikes in price. And this has been issues for years now. You would think by now being one of the biggest crypto exchanges and one that's been around for quite a while that they would have figured this problem out with their scaling. As of now, I'm having a hard time believing that they are on the side of the little guy as they are dealing a lot more with these institutional investors and helping them custody their Bitcoin. But if you do want to sign up for a Coinbase account, you do get $10 by using the referral link in the description below after you trade $100 of any digital asset. You can also create a watch list on Coinbase. So if you're looking at certain coins or tokens to possibly move into position, you can put that all together right there. And to lower your trading fees, you can use Coinbase Pro, similar to Gemini's Active Trader. You do have the option to stake a few coins. Not many are really worth staking, but some like Elgo, Atom, and Tezos have decent interest rates, and they do have ETH 2.0 staking coming out at 7.5%. Now, I still have to dig into this a little more, as there may be a lockup period, as I do know anyone that put into ETH 2.0 currently does have a lockup period. Locking up means you can't sell it until that period is over. Coinbase does have two features that no other brokerage or exchange does have and are worth taking advantage of. First, the Crypto Learn program. You can get paid in crypto for watching quick two minute videos and taking a quick little quiz anywhere between two to $10 on multiple different cryptocurrencies. You are getting paid to learn about crypto. Not a bad idea right there. And on Coinbase, you can convert from one digital currency to another. As long as they're both traded on the Coinbase platform, this will not charge you a fee. So after you go through this Coinbase Learn program and you have five, six or seven cryptocurrencies, worth between six and $10 each, you could actually convert those all into one cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, for example, if you choose to do so with no fees. And like I said earlier, I have all of these different exchanges and brokers because there are a couple cryptocurrencies on Coinbase I can't get elsewhere that I do like to invest in. Or when Coinbase has a new listing, it tends to pump the first couple days. 
so if I catch it early enough, I'll ride out a quick trade. Overall, you have to pick what platform's best for you, or platforms, if you want to get a little bit deeper into altcoins. Just know cryptocurrency is very risky. You can see 20 to 30% drops in one day, if not more in some of these smaller altcoins. Yes, you can see great gains, but remember, you do not lock in profits till you sell. So even if you are up 5x from where you bought, until you sell that cryptocurrency, it's not yours and it could easily go away. With that being said, if you still wanted to check out one of these crypto exchanges or brokers I just talked about, the link is in the description below and give yourself a raise. I'll see you next time. A few videos popped up to your left and right. If one of those perk your interest, give it a click.